Nature is passion. Nature is devotion. Nature is heart of Neptunians. The Nature devoted to. Wow, what a pile of plastic bottles. I wonder how many there are there. The Neptune is a program that introduces Neptunians. Yakumaru, the number of bottles is incredible, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is really all treasures. We are at a plant that recycles plastic bottles collected in the Tokyo metropolitan area. About 500,000 plastic bottles are brought here every day. Mmm, 500,000 bottles? Yes. These plastic bottles will first be screened to eliminate glass bottles and cans. Then, they'll be reduced to small pieces, cleaned, dried, and finally become again a useful resource. We've collected some of the products made from recycled plastic bottles, right here. Mmm, geez, so many different things. Yes. It must take a ton's work and energy to make these things, don't you think? Absolutely. However, today's Neptunian is devoted to taking plastic bottles and other trash and doing something interesting with them. Well, what is this? It is a large, odd-looking, shiny object. The person rolling this object is today's Nichinian. Please tell us what this is. It's called a solar grill. The reflective material is arranged so that the light and energy from the sun are directed into one area. Then you put a cooking utensil here to prepare food. I see. You can cook an egg using solar heat. One sunny side up. Here you are. Ah, yes. Mr. Sun, thank, thank you for your blessings. <laughs> mm. Yes, it's good. Tatsuo Takano. He's the Echo Life Nichunian on the roof. It's raining. Takano, however, says he is happy anyway. It's wasteful to let rainwater simply drain away. If you can store it somewhere, there are a lot of ways to use it. He is collecting rainwater from the roof. Three steel drums are already filled with filtered rainwater. How does he use it? He sends the rainwater using a pump to a toilet. I see. The water is used to flush the bowl. Good idea. On a sunny day, Takano climbs up to his rooftop. This is a homemade solar water heater. It's made from used plastic bottles. Here on the roof, a total of 80 plastic bottles are lined up. The bottles contain water. Paint them black and arrange them and voila! I think the water will be ouch. Yeah, I'm sure. This solar water heater can heat 160 liters of water. You can heat it up to twice the atmospheric temperature of the day. What do you think the Takanos use the water for? You guessed it. <laughs> they use it for bathing. The temperature is 48 degrees Celsius. When we use gas to prepare the bath each time, it costs 200 yen. 200 yen, 200 yen, 200 yen. 200 yen. <laughs> Savings from heaven. He also has solar cells and a wind power generator on the roof. The Takanos have an all-weather, resource-saving Echo House. It sure helps to reduce the family overhead. To me, keeping expenses down is secondary. The real reason I do this is because it's fun to create something from your own ideas. Takano has lived the Echo life for the past 35 years. 
It was in 1981 that he made his first solar water heater. But his philosophy dates back to his boyhood. When I was a schoolboy, many families around here still made their living by rice farming, which it needs a lot of water. Also, our house was located on high ground, so we had a problem with water pressure, too. Takano grew up appreciating the blessings of nature. He started working in City Hall, but the 1973 oil crisis provoked in him a profound realization. Energy resources are limited. The crisis frightened me. I realized Japan couldn't rely on foreign countries to supply our energy. So I started to do whatever I could, and as it turned out, I couldn't stop making things because I was having so much fun. So much fun. In the back of his house, Takano keeps a pile of discarded items that he has collected. There is, of course, the, the whole phenomenon of recycling, but the process of recycling consumes extra energy, so I think it's better to reuse materials without spending much effort to alter them. Right, but what does the family have to say? I know he's doing good, but because of him, I can't tidy up the house. <laughs> That's a problem. Mm. Complaints from his family do not discourage him because these objects provide him with dreams. Mind you, back when the Japanese economy was booming, Takano's friends and neighbors were not sympathetic. People used to say, how can you lead this kind of life? Be like us, things like that. In time, the weirdo became an inventor. 10 years ago, his book was published. Since then, the number of his supporters has gradually increased. He was invited to join a group promoting the use of natural energy and work with people there who share similar ideas. Today, he is visiting a friend from that group, a man who lives in Kobe. The friend named Kurotori says he has something to show Takano. There he is! Kurotori! Hey! It's been a long time! Nice to see you again! Wouldn't you know, Kurotori was waiting on a rooftop. You made this in 1998? 1997. Oh, then it's been well over a decade. Inspired by Takano, Kurotori built his own plastic bottle solar water heater. The two are Echo Life buddies. Later, Kurutori took us to a different place. For some reason, he's holding a rope. Wait here a while. I'll go first. What is he doing? <laughs> wow, what a view. It's great. It's so panoramic. There's one, you see? Yeah, yeah. Over there? I see one, two... Then there's one other one that there? That makes three... Mine is behind that uh, two-story house. So, four in all. Oh, no. Gee. Mm. I don't quite follow. For what? Oh, now I've spotted them. The number of plastic bottle solar water heaters is growing in this town. What Takano started 35 years ago is now steadily spreading. I'm glad. <laughs> I cannot put it into words. I'm really happy. <laughs> K 
Kuratori also showed us his own project. He is using rainwater to revive a mountain that has lost its trees. It doesn't rain much in this area. It is a waste if you just let rainwater go. Exactly. The ring of echo awareness is expanding. In retirement, Takano works at a kindergarten. Today, he's showing the kids how to have fun saving energy. I will try to make fire with the power of the sun. Here comes the solar grill. There, you see smoke already. The interaction with the kids actually gives Takano renewed energy. Kids are interesting. I'm retired, but one day a kid asked me what I wanted to do in the future. I was, I was caught off guard. Since then, I try to set goals in my life once again. Typical, Takano is working on a new idea in his workshop. It looks like a new device using the solar water heater. For some reason, he brings out a steel drum. Uh, it's a little tight. It looks like the new device is a bathtub made from a steel drum. Needless to say, all the materials are items found in the trash. I forget about the time. I even forget to eat lunch. I get absorbed. You could say, I'm, I'm still a kid at heart. <laughs> this man is really happy when he is devoted to making something. There you go. <laughs> it's time to put together the steel drum bath. This is a headlight given to me by a car repair shop. I want to use it as a lighting for the bath. I see. And an old car battery is the power source. Eventually, the heater on the roof gets connected to the steel drum by a hose. There. The water's flowing. I, I see bubbles coming down. It's going all the way. Open the valve. The water starts running. Its temperature is just right. He now has a new invention. A steel drum outdoor bath. Okay. Looking good. I feel great. Gosh. Wow. I, I'm in heaven. <laughs> That's right. This is the moment you were waiting for. One has various wonderful moments in a life. Maybe this comes in as the third best in mine. <laughs> My wedding day, our baby's birth, and now I'm in this homemade... <laughs> outdoor bath <laughs> uh, yeah. so it's the third best day in his life Takano was so happy that he spent a long time in the bath feels good here comes the sun nature is great Takano gets a lot of use and pleasure from it hmm Using these plastic bottles to make hot water and enjoy a private bath, that's really something. Uh, he looked really happy, didn't he? I hear Takano is now trying to produce hot water using the heat generated from a heap of fermenting leaves. Oh, really? Well, I wish him the best. So, what kind of Netunian is coming up in the next program?